Today we're going to be unboxing the Xiaomi Band 8 smartwatch. Cool little box. This watch is an alternative to some of the more expensive ones out there. This comes in at around uh, 50 bucks. It's a little bit more expensive than the previous watch that I reviewed, which was a $25 one. I'll link that video in the description if you guys want to go check it out. It comes with a five atmospheres of water resistance. So if you want to swim in the watch, you can do that. Professional workout analysis. It's got sleep monitoring, heart rate monitoring, a 1.6 inch AMOLED display. It's got up to 16 days of battery life, which is really amazing. And it's got the easy detachable straps and 100 plus exercise modes. So let's unbox it. As you guys know, I love Xiaomi. Uh, they've been making a lot of good quality products and you know, not at a super expensive price point. I think that a lot of times these companies are normalizing $1,000 price tag that comes with their products. Xiaomi Smart Band 8. Here is the watch itself. Let me bring it in closer. Right now it's off, but I'll be turning it on in a minute. And it's got the sensors in the back over there. Yeah, first impression, the watch really feels lightweight and I can actually see myself wearing this the whole day. So let's put it on and see how it feels. You'll probably read the instructions to see if it needs charging. And that's the uh, cable that it comes with. USB-A. Then we've got the manual. So I'll read through this a little bit and then I'll come back and set it up. The charging brick should be five volts at 400 milliamp. The battery capacity of the watch itself is 190 milliamp hours, which is pretty small. All right, so they tell you in the manual that you shouldn't wear the watch too tight. And if you are using the heartbeat sensor, you should keep your wrist still. There are these clips over here on the side that you can actually use to remove the bands and it comes out pretty easily. But yeah, that's the actual device itself. I can't believe how light it is. And then the clips back on just like that very easily. I gotta charge this thing up. So I'll charge it and then I'll come back. We'll go through the software setup. So I just plugged it in over here. It gives you an indicator of the charging. So it's about 69% charged. So it comes uh, pre-charged. So I have the watch set up here and I'm gonna pick it up on my hands and it should turn on, exactly. Just pretty quickly, you guys can see the display quality is really nice. Uh, it's got the time, you got the date, the day weather as well as the indication of how much charge is remaining. Then if you swipe to the right, you can actually see the heart rate monitor. So we'll see how this fares out. It's measuring the heart rate right now. And then here we have the sleep tracking feature. So when you wear your device to sleep, it'll actually measure your various sleep cycles. I'll definitely be checking that out tonight. Some of the other features of the watch, you can swipe to the left. You can see that there are some options here for do not disturb. You can actually find your phone, so it'll actually play a sound on your phone. Do not disturb, which I don't really use. You can go through settings here, and it's got a lot of options for customization. I think the main thing that I changed was the display. I have the auto lock set to 20 seconds, but I should probably set that down to 10 seconds. And yeah, it's got a lot more options here. Always on display, I have that off. I wanna conserve the battery as much as I can. Something else that I forgot to mention is you can actually change the face of the watch. So, so if you actually go to band displays, it's got a couple of options here for customization. All these UIs are pretty nice, I think. Got that one. Well, I'm going to stick to the original version here and then you swipe down you can see your messages and then here you got some options for uh, stats it actually shows you how many calories you burned how many steps you took and then here you have your workout options you can actually set the watch to track your activity so if you're going out for a walk you'll come in here you'll say walk you have to make sure that you have the permission for your location set so, and then you can actually go for the walk and it'll track your activity there. Got a lot more options here for walks. You have your activity data here, status. Here is the blood oxygen sensor. I tested it out a little bit and we'll test it out again. It takes a while for the measurement process to complete and it looks like we're at 94%, which is good. Sleep tracker, we've done that. Uh, stress, I've tried this out. I couldn't really get it to work. We have an option here to display the weather. Uh, it's in Celsius right now, so I'll have to change that. Uh, we have the option to set alarms here. And we have that settings page that we were at before and more. So you can check your events on your calendar. And then the cool thing is that this watch has a breathing exercise option. So you can select how long you want to do a breathing exercise for, for up to five minutes, and it'll take you through that. And we can test it out here. So we want to do a five minute breathing exercise. So that's pretty cool. Got the stopwatch. Music, you have control for songs that are playing right now, which I don't have any playing. You can find your phone, world clock, flashlight, which is also a pretty cool one. So it'll just flash 
the screen bright so that's pretty much all the features and yeah that's it guys as i said it's got a really nice and comfortable design i got a little bit of breathing room here it's not on too tight like some of the other watches that require it on to be tight please let me know what you guys think about this if you're going to get it or if you're thinking about getting it if you have any questions about it uh, yeah i'll see you next time Thank you.